Hey everybody, welcome to episode five. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for coming to watch and join in today. Um, like I said, continue to share, continue to tell your friends about it, continue to tell your friends to come join. Um, it's very much appreciated. Um, I just want everybody, you know, go on this journey with me, you know, pretty much, you know, learning stocks, getting into stocks, uh, diving into research and how to research and how to pick certain stocks, things like that, and how to look ahead um, as far as picking future stocks. Um, so like I said, I appreciate everybody sharing this, sharing and subscribing and letting everybody know um, to come join in. It's very much appreciated. Um, on episode five, I wanted to dive into the cannabis industry. Um, a lot of people have been asking this past weekend uh, what some of the hot stocks I've been getting into and they wanted me to share that in my future uh, episodes. Um, and then if they wanted to talk about the cannabis industry, you know, what's the next steps for that? What do I, you know, what's my outlook on that as far as stocks in that field? Um, so I wanted to focus on three main stocks this uh, episode in episode five about uh, cannabis and what you know I think those stocks can do as far as the future um, and where they, where they can go. Um, so the main stock I wanted to focus on, you know, was SNDL. Um, that's one of the main cannabis stocks I wanted to focus on um, in this episode. Uh, but before I dive into the cannabis, I wanted to also let you know, I will be talking about another stock that has nothing to do with the cannabis industry, but more it has to do with uh, the virus and uh, the vaccination, uh, with what's going on right now in the world. Um, so it's another stock that I think people should look into, um, look at, um, you know, do your own research before you dive into it, of course, uh, but look into it uh, might be a hot stock for the future, something to check out. Uh, but like I was saying before, SNDL, uh, Sundial Growers is a, a cannabis stock that I think people should look at and just, you know, look into the future, look and see if you want to dive into that stock or not dive into it. Uh, but that stock alone, I think is a good one. I actually got back into it uh, in November of last year. Um, it was around 20 cent when I got into it. And the reason why I started looking into it uh, was because I looked at, you know, okay, Joe Biden's coming to office now. So we're going to have, you know, more of a, a Democrat uh, outlook on, you know, the, the world right now as far as, you know, cannabis and legalization of it. Um, and then I also realized, okay, the House in the Senate is now majority Democrat. So we're going to be able to pass some of those more, you know, Democratic laws and, and views um, in the future going forward, at least for the next four years. Um, so that's something that I was looking at during that time. Um, and that's when I found uh, SNDL. Um, like I said, it was around 20 cent around the time. Um, so I was able to get, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of shares uh, because it was super cheap. And I knew, okay, this stock, you know, next year or a year from now, eventually this stock was going to boom. So that was more, you know, like a long-term play for me um, because it was so cheap. And I understood eventually, uh, you know, the laws around cannabis was going to ease up some here in America. Um, so like I was saying, SNDL is one of the hot stocks that I was focused on. It's a, a, a cannabis company. Right now, um, a lot of people don't realize they did just buy, um, I believe back in December or November, sometime around then, um, they bought a chocolate company in Canada. Um, it's the only chocolate company that's able to put uh, cannabis inside their chocolate and sell it uh, in Canada. Um, so that was one of the things that, you know, intrigued me about that stock. I'm like, wow, you know, they just purchased this company and this company pretty much has all the rights, you know, to the, the chocolate industry in Canada as far as, you know, infusing cannabis in their candy. Um, so that was something that, you know, really made me jump onto it and dive deep into it. And like I said, get thousands and thousands of shares uh, because it I, I saw the future for it. Um, and I looked at it like I said, OK, that stock eventually is going to jump. Like I say, either next year or the year after, just because the way we're changing here in America and they can eventually bring the product here in America. Um, and for me, I think that's what's going to, you know, make that stock jump even more. Um, once, you know, the laws change and once, you know, some of the things ease up on as far as medical research and things like that on cannabis, I think a lot of a lot of those companies are going to be able to find access here in America and be able to sell products here in America. Um, and that's going to be the biggest bang for their buck as well, because that's where all their revenue uh, will come from, you know, going forward. I would think that's the biggest revenue maker. Um, so I, I think that stock alone is a good stock to look at. Um, like I said, when I got back in, in November, it was around 20 cent. Right now, it's like around a dollar 10 or a dollar and 20 cent range. Um, of course, I'm still holding on to it. That's a stock that I feel um, for me personally, I think that stock can easily get to a five to a ten dollar range by the end of this year. Um, or by the end of next year, I think that stock can see five to ten dollars just because what they can do or, you know, potentially they can be bought out. Um, it was a lot of talk when I was first getting into the stock that it was going to you know, eventually be bought out by uh, Aurora, Aurora Cannabis uh, or another one of those big name players. 
Um, but, it, it, you know, it wasn't bought out. Um, they're still, you know, grinding, still doing their thing, um, which I think, you know, they're doing a lot of incredible things over there at that company. Um, and going forward, you're just going to see them you know, eventually, you know, go up, up and up. Um, I think right now, even, you know, Reddit people, you know, the whole Reddit thing going on right now, a lot of them are taking notice into that company as well. Um, they're seeing that company grow. So a lot of them are, you know, jumping on that bandwagon as well, which is great for the uh, retail investors because, you know, the higher the price goes, the better, right? So you get into it when it's 20 cent or 50 cent or whatever the case may be, and then goes up, up and up. That's more money for you, more uh, bang for your buck. Um, so I think once more people take notice on that stock, I think uh, it's going to continue to jump. Um, and then either, you know, they get bought out by another company uh, soon or they continue to grow like here in America, you know, we decriminalize certain things. Then that's when you see that stock go from a dollar, two dollars to all the way up to five or ten. Um, so that's one of the stocks that I think people should definitely check out going forward. Like I say, you can definitely buy um, even you can even buy uh, a contract in it, a call contract. Because me myself, I didn't just buy shares. I also bought uh, call contracts during that time. And I was able to buy six months to a year out, you know, when it was very cheap. It's still very cheap right now. In my mind, anything under two dollars for that stock is very cheap. Um, I think that stock very minimum should be at least two dollars, um, especially with their market cap now to be in dollars. They should definitely be um, a two dollar stock. You look at other uh, companies in that industry that doesn't have the same market cap as them and they're even higher than, you know, a dollar or two dollars right now. Um, so I think that stock is just going to continue to grow throughout the year. The more notice it gets, the more people that notice it and invest into it, the more that stock is going to grow. And um, of course, it's going to have its dips. Um, and I would say, like I always tell everybody, whenever it gets and it has those dips, buy more. You know, if you if you see that stock going to five dollars and, and it jumps up to two and then dips down to a dollar, that's when you should be buying more. You shouldn't be panicking, you know, selling at that time. Um, but you know, that stock, I think, you know, going forward over the next even month or two, you're going to see an increase. You know, anywhere between ten to twenty cent to up to a dollar um, increase on that stock, just because the way laws are changing. Um, and the way things are starting to look at. I think um, even a, a New York governor uh, just spoke about, um, you know, cannabis and, and looking into cannabis laws because now they're looking to reform that because they understand, you know, hey, maybe it was a little too strict on cannabis and the laws regarding cannabis because it, you know, when you do your research on it, um, you know, cannabis can help people, you know, sick people as well. Um, it, can, it can help for diseases and many other things. Um, so it's not just a, a, a bad uh, drug per se. Um, it actually can be used for good. Um, and I think that's what people are starting to notice. And the more and more people, you know, do research on it, the more they're going to notice the goods about it. Um, but they're not able to do that right now because of the laws surrounding it. Um, so once some of those laws uh, fall back, then you'll be able to see people do more research and see that this, this uh, cannabis is not uh, as bad as people make it to seem. Um, and that's when you'll see stocks like Sundial continue to grow because now they have access to sell their product over here in America and many other places. Um, so that's one of the stocks I want to talk about um, in episode five. I think people should check it out, you know, go and look into it. Um, definitely go into the week ahead. Um, like I said, somebody asked me, hey, what are some of the hot stocks you're looking into with some of the hot stocks I should look at this week? Um, I think that stock, you know, is going to see some change either this coming up week or the week after just because the way laws are changing the way people are looking at uh, the cannabis industry as a whole. Um, and as I was just saying, as far as you can't really learn about cannabis unless you do research, that goes into my second stock I wanted to talk about. Um, and that stock right now, it made me good money, you know, in the past week or so. I actually got back into it uh, November around the same time I got into SNDL. Um, the stock jump had a good jump over this past weekend and it continued to grow. Um, so stocks like that, I think, uh, are, are good stocks to look at. Um, so one of those stocks, you know, is Zenebra Pharmaceuticals, right? Um, I believe it's Z-Y-N-E is the ticker or symbol for it. Um, if you look at it this past week, it had a great jump. Um, and I see it's going to continue to jump. For me personally, I feel that stock can easily reach uh, the $8 mark quickly, you know, without a, without a hesitation or maybe even $10 um, just because you... Like I said, that's one of the companies that's focused on the research and what cannabis can do as far as helping people that, you know, may have illnesses or diseases. Um, that is something that they look into and that they're using cannabis for. And then the more, you know, because I think before anything before cannabis is, you know, recreational, you know, legal, recreational everywhere. I think it's going to be medically uh, legal everywhere first. Um, and I think those are the companies that's going to, you know, as far as stocks, I think those companies are going to see the biggest bang in the beginning. So any company that is looking into doing research and using cannabis to help with certain illnesses or diseases, 
um, then I think those companies, you know, are going to have a big jump. Um, and ZYNE is one of those companies that I thought back in November will have or benefit from laws regarding research around cannabis or medical research regard, uh, regarding cannabis uh, will benefit from a Democratic uh, president, president being in office. Um, and then especially a Democratic Senate and a uh, majority Democratic House. Um, I think those companies are going to jump and are, are going to, you know, go big. Um, so speaking on that company, just to dive a little bit into it, um, that company, like I said, it pretty much focuses on the research of what cannabis can do and then creating medicines through cannabis. Um, and it pretty much focuses on rare and near rare um, neuropsychiatric diseases that, that affect people, conditions every single day. Um, so a lot of people out here that um, are seriously affected by that, um, affects with the nerve system and affects their everyday life movement, things like that. Um, and now, so this company is looking to research and learning what they can do um, and use cannabis and, and, and use cannabis to help with people with these problems. Um, so I think this company is a company that people should look at going forward. Yeah, they did just have a big jump this past week. Um, so this was, you know, one of the weeks that you should look into, okay, maybe it might not jump anymore. Um, I'm gonna wait to get into it, you know, when it dips, you know, it might dip this coming week or the week after. Um, but personally, I think that stock is just gonna continue to grow. Um, like I said, I think it's going to continue to go all the way up to eight to ten dollars uh, within the next month or two. Uh, so I would say dive into it. You know, whenever you know personally, I would dive into it whenever I can. Um, but you know, I want people to do their own research, look into it uh, before you actually go and dive into a stock. Cause like I spoke about in my past episodes, don't go just dive into a stock. Look what that stock did a year or two before. Look what you think that stock is going to do a year or two in the future, and then you make your own decisions on should you you know get into that stock, how much should you get into that stock things like that. Because like me, you know, I'm not a professional trader. I'm not a, a actual, you know, certified license, uh, licensed stockbroker or anything like that. I'm just an average day trader, just like, you know, the rest of us out here. That's why I created this channel. Um, I'm just pretty much giving tips and things that I'm investing in. And I'm just letting people know the research that I've done. Um, so I think everybody should also do the same thing that I'm doing. Go and do your own research before you dive into a stock. Um, I spoke about Kern a couple of episodes ago. I said, hey, do your own research because that's definitely what you want to do. Um, do your own research into those stocks before you actually dive into them. But also, you know, open your mind up to the future, like I said, and, and think, you know, long term, a year or two from now, what is this stock going to be at? Um, and this is one of those stocks. Uh, ZYNE is one of the stocks that I think is going to continue to jump, continue to rise over the years. Um, as long as, you know, we have a, de a Democrat president um, and Democrat views going forward surrounding cannabis, I think this stock has no choice but to go up. You know, they're, they're doing research. And once, once they're actually allowed legally to do more research here in America and things like that, it will expand their, their revenue. It will expand their product line. And the more things that can get FDA approved through them uh, will continue to grow, you know. So I think that's something that people should focus on. Um, that's one of the stocks that I want people to look into in the future. Um, you can actually even buy, like SNDL, like I'm saying, you can buy contracts into that as well. So if you don't want to buy that stock outright, you know, I think it's around like five or six dollars right now. If you don't want to buy that stock outright, they're looking to buy a contract a year out. Um, and like I said, for me, I think that stock person can get anywhere between the eight to ten dollar range uh, within the next year. Um, so I think that's the stock that people should really focus on looking into, because the more we legalize and, uh, and decriminalize things regarding cannabis and research, the more you see stocks in the cannabis industry rise. You know, when you, when you think back when, when Obama was in office and you look at those years, right? So you look at, I think it's last year, you know, you look at 2016, right? 2016, a lot of stocks was up. 2015, a lot of, you know, cannabis stocks or pot stocks, people say, were, you know, up during that time because of the president and the things we, we view certain things. Um, so the way you look at it going forward Look at it saying then go back to 2015, go back to try to look at, OK, what was things like when we had a Democratic president? How was, you know, certain stocks acting then? Were they going up? Were they going down? What was certain industries doing around that time? And you kind of mirror that going forward with our current president, um, kind of mirror that going forward with the stocks um, and how they're going to, you know, act and how they're going to react to uh, now having a Democrat president and a Democratic House and Senate. Um, so that's something that I want people to look into going, you know, forward in the future. Look at those stocks and those industries that you think will boom under a Democratic president, because more than likely they will. They will go up. They will continue to rise. Um, so that's, you know, just like we're talking about energy and, you know, electric cars. You know, I think they're going to continue to rise because of what we have in office right now. 
those people, they like, that's their agenda. That's their, that's the way that they think. So they're going to push those certain laws, right? So that's the stocks that you should dive into during that period. And then if we have a different president or a different party and president to start thinking that way, you have to be able to, you know, adapt to certain, you know, changes and that would help you in the stock market. Um, so ZYNE is the, is the second stock I want to talk about regarding uh, the cannabis industry. I think that stock is a, is a good stock to look into. Um, like I said, the first one is SNDL, Sundial Growers. Um, that's another stock that I think is a good one to look into. Um, and the third and final stock I'm going to talk about, I spoke about it before, um, it's Kern, right? So two episodes I told you all, I believe it was January 25th, I talked about Kern and the potential Kern can do. Um, and as you can see from January 25th until today, Current has jumped, you know, I believe between two to three dollars since I talked about it. Um, so that's another stock that I think people should look into. I've already explained, you know, what I talked about. Go and check out my past episode. Uh, I believe it's episode three that I spoke about uh, Current. So go and check that out. That's something that, you know, Current is a very great company. Um, it's it's going to continue to grow. It's not going to, you know, go downhill no time soon, especially with, like I said, the president that we have and, and the agendas that I see you know, we're trying to achieve going forward over the next four years. I think that that company is going to continue to see its rise. Of course, it's going to have its dips. Um, just like when I told you on January 25th, um, I think it dipped like 30 cent that Monday, right? So I came out with the video on Sunday and on Monday it dipped 30 cent. And then from there, it just skyrocketed. Um, I think that stock will continue to grow, continue to rise. I think people should look into that stock. Like I said, do your own research or, you know, go back to episode three and see what I spoke about that stock and what I talked about as far as going forward for that stock and for that company. Um, cause that's one of the companies that I think is gonna have a great future going forward. Um, it's another stock that I'm heavily uh, invested in. Um, as you all know, I'm not gonna talk about any stock or hand that I'm not investing in myself heavily. Um, so that's a stock that I think will continue to rise. I think it will jump. I think it can double, just like I said then. Um, I think it can double by the end of this year. Hey, I think we're like two, three bucks away from it doubling um, from when I said that. And it's not even the end of the year. It's like, it's been two, three weeks. Um, so that's the stock that I think people should check out going forward. And they have a product that's not just good for the cannabis industry, but like I said, their product can be used in other industries. Uh, so go check out episode three. Look what I said about that stock. And then going forward, go do your own research and think should you dive into that stock? Because I think that stock going forward is going to be a great stock, um, especially in the cannabis industry and the way we're moving forward. Um, so that's the three stocks that I want to speak on as far as the cannabis industry. And I wanted people to check out um, that I think is personally good stocks to invest in that I'm heavily invested in um, as far as the cannabis industry. And of course, there's others that I'm invested in too, but those are the three main ones that I think, you know, people should look at. And, you know, they're very, they're not that expensive now. They're all, uh, I believe they're all under $10 stocks. Um, so that's a stock that I think people should look into going forward. And I think they can, you know, double or triple uh, by, by the end of this year or two years from now just the way we're moving, um, the way we're going as far as a country as a whole. Um, so the final stock I wanted to speak about that has nothing to do with the cannabis industry. Um, this is more just like a, a cherry on the top, I would say, or something I just wanted to give you all to look at because I've was i been doing research on it um, for about two months now. I've been doing research on it. Uh, I believe it was around December. I started to look into this stock. I wish I knew about it sooner, um, but I started doing research on this stock. Um, I've seen a couple of people talk about it. Uh, on some of the you know sites that I look at it to you know do my own research on, um, and and I was like you know I was very intrigued by the stock because I, I understood the potential it can have for the the vaccination of this virus um, going forward and the way that they're doing things. I think they're starting to ship uh, doses of the uh, vaccine to actual pharmaceuticals now or like CVS and things like that. They're actually shipping them there now to be administering to people. Um, and the way you administer them is a shot, right? So you use a syringe. Um, syringe is something that you, you they use. They, they shoot the uh, vaccine into you and that, that helps you going forward, right? Uh, and I started looking into, okay, well, syringes is a company, you know, that, that's, a, that's a product that is gonna be used now everywhere because now they need to use this, uh, this, this tool to, to, to use this and to get this injection into you. Uh, so I started looking into companies that make syringes. Um, and I found that company, um, I, came, I came upon and I was like, wow, this company's syringe is very uh, unique and one of a kind. Um, it, it, it can be, be very cost cutting, um, which is I think a lot of companies are going to start realize going forward um, that this company has a product that is very cost cutting to them. 
um, and it can help them going forward as far as getting it out there. So it's already being used, by the way. Companies are already using it, you know, products, this product is out already. Uh, but I think this product is going to see an even bigger rise. Um, I, it just had its dip this past week, uh, which, you know, people should have gotten to it this past week. Um, if you already know about it, definitely, you know, that would have been a good start to get into this past week. Even this week going forward, I think it's a good stock to get into. Um, I think that stock can easily reach $21, $22 um, by the end of this month uh, alone. Um, so it can jump $3 uh, by the end of this month alone. Um, but that's that that company going forward, I think, is a great company to look into just the way we're moving with the vaccinations and things like that. Um, that tool alone, you, you need it. You need a syringe to 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 inject that into people, not only with uh, the, vac the virus vaccine, but with other viruses and other diseases, you use a syringe. Um, so this syringe can be used and can help people and help companies cut costs tremendously going forward. Um, so I wanted to dive into that one. Um, the company, actually the name of the company is called uh, Retractable Technologies Inc. Um, the stock ticker is RVP. Um, and once again, RVP is the stock ticker. Um, it's, the stock is right now at $18.99, um, or I believe it's around $19, $19.20 um, after hours. Um, but it did have a dip. I think it dropped down to $17 this past week, um, around Thursday or Wednesday, I'm not sure. Uh, but it did have a little dip. Of course, for me, since I've been investing into it for the past two months, I bought more, right? I bought more and more and more of those shares. Uh, and I bought a couple more call, uh, a couple more as far as contracts into it um, going forward. That's something that I looked into because it was like, okay, it's just cheaper. It's just cheaper than what I think it's going to be. I think this stock is going to be at least $22. It just dropped down to $17. Why not buy more? Um, so that's something that I looked into. Um, like I said, RVP is the company's ticker. They make syringes. Um, it's very unique. This is the way the syringe is used um, and what the syringe can do for uh, companies going forward. Um, so one of the things that I found um, as, far as, as far as dead space in syringes, right? So syringes have dead space and you, you, you lose a lot of vaccine. So the, the little dead space, that's it's about like this much that's left in the, in the syringe, that's in your typical syringe, it's a waste of a vaccine. And that adds up after a while, right? So you get a couple of those left over and that's a whole shot that you just wasted in a syringe. And now you have to use a whole nother dose of that vaccine or whatever you're using um, to cure that person. So to, to say, remember I spoke about, you know, saving, cutting costs, this syringe can help you with costs because now you're using that entire dead space. You don't have to worry about wasting uh, that dead space of vaccine uh, just because the syringe doesn't push it out or anything like that. Um, and one of the things that I use, um, it, you can get between 11 to 12 doses out of a 10 dose shot. Um, so that's something that's major. Um, you know, usually a syringe can only get 10 doses. This syringe can get 12 doses. Uh, also, the syringe is retractable. Um, so what that means is um, the, it eliminates the, the accident of like, you know, somebody shooting, up, shooting a needle and it can prick you, you know, right? You prick your finger or anything like that before you put the needle in or anything like that when nurses are moving or somebody's moving around or a patient is, you know, not stable or not in the right mind, they're moving. That right there can save you from actually pricking yourself with the needle, right? Um, so that's another thing that I think that this syringe has that other syringes don't have. It's a, a, a retractable needle. That is something that is a major when you think about diseases that's out here that can affect people through needles or, or through things like that. Um, or even, you know, you think of uh, like AIDS, HIV, right? Um, the people that have that, you know, you don't, obviously you don't want the blood to get on the inside your blood or any cuts or sores they want against that, right? Um, that helps with that. That's a retractable needle. You don't no longer have to really worry about that. Um, so that's something that can be used in all fields and all diseases and things like that. That is that is major, I think, once people realize how big that is. Um, like I said, another thing, the syringe can be used on other diseases and other illness. It doesn't have to be used just on the vaccine that we have here. It can be used on a ton of other things that, that's in the medical field that they will start to realize and start to see like, okay, this stock right here, or not this stock, but this, this product is superior to all the other syringes. And why not, why, why would we waste our time on buying a basic syringe that is now wasting doses, but can potentially prick the person that the nurse or the doctor that's, that's using it and administering the, the vaccine to the person. Um, and then as well, it can't be used every way, you know, it can't be used on all illnesses and diseases and all vaccines. This syringe itself can be used everywhere on many different things. Um, it's amazing. That's that's the the stock that I wanted people to focus on. It was I was so excited about this stock when I learned about it. 
um, a month or two ago. Uh, so I wanted people to definitely look into this stock. Um, like I said, going forward, that stock, I see it going up to $22, $23. Uh, anything below that, um, I, I think is a steal personally. Um, and I will continue to, to look into buying things like that, buying uh, shares at that price because that's a, that's a stock that I think is good for people to look at and uh, dive into because of what, they, what their product can do moving forward and moving forward with this virus and things like that, um, especially with doses, right? So doses are limited. You know, companies right now, this is a new virus. This is a, a new vaccination. So they can only make with so many doses are limited. They want to use every ounce of that dose, right? So in order to do that, you need a syringe that's capable to use every single ounce of that vaccination. If not, you're wasting doses. And then those, you know, those little, like I said, those dead spaces add up. And before you know it, you have multiple and multiple doses of vaccine that you have now wasted due to dead space in regular or in a, in a normal syringe. Um, so that's the stock that I want people to focus on and look into going next week um, and going forward, um, especially now that they're shipping these uh, vaccines to actual, you know, companies and sites as far as like Walgreens and CVS, um, which those companies as well, you should look into. I think those companies are eventually going to see a boom. Um, I think those companies are going to see uh, their stock price go up just because people now have to go there. Their revenue is going to go up because now people are now going there to get vaccinated versus going to your local doctor's office or wherever the case may be. Um, but as far as those syringes go, I think that stock is a major great stock to look into. Um, a lot of people are going to need those syringes. A lot of companies are going to start looking to using those syringes now. Um, they're already using them, so they already have a name for themselves. They already have contracts, but I think the more and more and more that they start releasing news, the company itself starts releasing news and starts releasing contracts that they have with other uh, companies, I think the more that stock is going to grow, right? And just like with any other stock, the more good news that's released regarding it and around it, and the more, uh, you know, contracts and stuff that company gets, the higher the stock price goes up. Um, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen here. Um, just like you've seen with, uh, you know, Moderna or any other of these uh, vac vaccine companies. You know, before the vaccine came out, these companies were very small companies. Um, and now that they're creating a vaccine for this virus, now all of a sudden the stock price has skyrocketed. Um, like I say, you've seen that case with Moderna. Um, and you'll see that with many more companies um, going forward as long as this continues. Um, so I think people should check that out. Um, just to go over again, um, SNDL. Um, as far as BYNE and Kern are the three pot stocks that I want people to look at to look into, or I would say cannabis industry stocks that I would say people look into. Those are major stocks. I think they're going to be good going for the future. Uh, you can definitely mark my name on those stocks and say, hey, you know, Derek said this stock was going to jump and they all of a sudden jump. Those are the stocks that I think are going to jump going for it personally. And those are the stocks that I'm definitely heavily invested in regarding, you know, when it comes to the cannabis industry. Those are good stocks. I spoke about Kern in episode three, explained that stock on January 25th, you know, before it actually had its jump. Um, and, and those other two stocks that I named SNDL and BYNE or other great stocks just like Kern. Um, and then besides the cannabis industry, the other stock I wanted to give you all was RBP, uh, Retractable uh, Technology Inc. Um, that company, like I said, they make syringes. That's a company that I think is going to continue to boom as long as this virus is around. I think companies, more and more companies are going to realize that is the that is the syringe that they want to use to administer this vaccine and many other vaccines going forward and things like that. Um, so I think people should check that stock out. Check those four stock out. Um, look at this week. Those are stocks that I think potentially are going to boom this week or two weeks from now. So that's why I'm letting you know ahead of time. Go and check these stocks out. These are going to be good stocks to look at. Um, thank you all for joining the episode. I appreciate it. The Super Bowls today, you know me, I'm, I'm a Tom Brady fan, if, if you don't know. So Tom Brady definitely going to bring it home today. And uh, we're going to have a great, 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 great week coming forward in the stock market. And I hope everybody makes money this week. And I hope everybody, you know, like I said, always say get rich going forward. I hope we all make money and we all be successful. Thank you for joining. God bless.